Yes, folks, don't forget about gift aid. Don't forget about gift aid if you're uh, when you're donating. Um. Oh, well, that's what you're going to do. It's not the game crashing, folks. Don't panic. And okay, start solo. Got to reconnect everything now. Right. Okay, let's check out what we've got to do here. Hey there, XN. Uh, it's not a 24 hour stream, XN. It's going to be two 15 hour streams or something along the lines. It's a minimum of two 12 hour streams, essentially. But I do it on Saturday and a Sunday rather than doing it in one big lump. Uh, right, so I need to go to. wherever that is, forwards. Yep, that'll get us there. Why do I look like a cat? I don't know, reasons. A bear cat, there you go. Well, Twitch also don't encourage 24-hour streams anymore because of the concerns about, um, you know, just how the health, um, the health on them, which I think is very reasonable. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people do actually. The other thing some people do, Genom, is that they have to sort of play the game while maybe they've got some TV running in the background or they've got. Um, um, they're doing a bit of work in the background. They'll play, you know, have the game running in the, you know, on one screen. So because you some, depending on the scenario you're doing, sometimes it can be just sort of a watch the scenery roll by. Uh, Tempro, yes, there's American. I plan the American for later in the stream so that um, it's easier for uh, Americans to make sure they can sort of get up and see it. So the beginning of the Star and R is, uh, of the day tends to be a mix of UK and German content or UK European content. And then the later in the day it switches to being a mix of UK and US content. UK is common throughout them, not just because I'm British, but because the large number of the people who watch the stream are in the UK. Um, but that way, German, uh, Europeans don't have to stay up ridiculously late to see their their content, and Americans don't have to get up ridiculously early to see their content. I hope that sort of makes sense. Uh, for a random viewer who just joined, can I explain about this thing? Controller setup. So this is a thing called a rail driver. Uh, this is a custom. This is a, uh, a controller you can buy. Um, um, which just operates the the levers on the on the controls. Um, uh, this is a set of flight simulator gauges, and I've written my own software that integrates these with the game as well. So I've got gauges, they've got instrument lights, and so forth on here. Uh, then behind my cup of HST, I've got my you can't really see it. I've got my AWS button, just a real one from a train. Right, what's next? I'm gonna go back up to there. So I've got to uh, change that one. That one, whoops. That one. I don't really take advantage of it enough at the moment, Genom, because I've got the gauges there, but I never actually look at them. Because it's over on the left and my monitor is in front of me, what I need to do is sort of set it up so that it's all in front of me, but then I can't use the keyboard, which is a challenge. So I've still got stuff to figure out. Uh, how much did it cost? So the gauges are about £120 each. The um, CIFA, I think, or no, 140, I think actually. There's SciTech flight instrument panels, and then this is a SciTech backlit information panel, which I think is another 120. Um, 
Uh, those are my only options for lights. Um, yeah, that's the, that's about 120. The rail driver thinks about 200. The wooden frame my dad built for me, because I don't do woodwork. Um, and this to buy this button, brand new, it's about 400 quid. <laughs> Suffice to say, it cost 400 quid. Uh, it was given to me courtesy of a friend. That'll do. There's lots of guy, lots of light setups on this thing apparently. Rods. <laughs> yeah, some of the fake names people use. Where's your last new model? Like, yeah, well, the gate. You get your gauge one though, aren't you, Glenn? I got those things are. If you pay less than a thousand pounds for a gauge one steam loco, you're doing well. It's Jamie, thank you very much for the sub, much appreciated. <coughs> Does that console only work for one specific trait? No, it works for everything. Well, it, it can work for any train. I've got a custom scripting set, set up and I can customize the controls and the lights to work with every individual train. I've got it working with about two and a half thousand types of train at the moment. I wrote something which automatically scripted all the configuration for me, which is quite fun. That isn't set correctly, that's what I thought. Got blue there now, because we need to couple to that car there. They're all out of stock. Have you contacted uh, Contact Sales, Chippy Arnold? Or maybe talk to PI Engineering and see if they can point you at a distributor. I know I spoke to PI Engineering a little while back and they were talking about if they tried to get themselves lined up for Christmas. So it may be they've, there is more stock, but maybe it's in different places. Hey Legacy Man, glad to see the streams for a good cause. Oh yes, definitely. I do two charity streams a year. Oh, I missed some donations. We're at 943. I do apologise. Uh, Adam Zappacosta, it's awesome to see you doing this for children. Catch you later on the rails. Thank you very much, Adam. 943, we're almost at 1,000, folks. Is this a German Gronk, basically? Don't forget the track I are. How do you mean, don't forget? Yeah, Aerosoft are the European distributor, as far as I understand it. Uh, Excalibur are the UK distributor, I think. PI Engineering are the people who make it. So, I mean, if in doubt, they're the people to ask. Because if there's a stock a supply issue, they might be able to tell you when when the uh, when there'll be more coming. Valent Verk. What's dinner, Rob? Oh, 
A few people have been hitting the follow button. Don't forget, folks, hit the follow button if you're new to the stream. That way you can find out when I stream. I stream every day of the week, pretty much. Doing one thing or another. Thank you for those that have followed. Aerosoft was cheaper than UK distributor. Oh, some people have deals, discounts going on. It's spam! Thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. Overlapping buffers hype. to AG turnout. Is that back up here again? Yeah, it is. If you're having problems with the rail driver, I would suggest dropping a note to PI Engineering support and see whether or not they've got um, um, any any experiences that they've been able to find. Like I said, I'm using Rail Driver on TS18 now, but I'm not using MacroWorks, so if there's an issue, maybe it's a MacroWorks issue. I can't imagine why there would be, because I've not touched my software at all. It works straight out of the box on TS18. And I can't, anyway, knowing how MacroWorks operates, I can't see how it would have any, it would have anything different, so. I'm confused if you're reporting it doesn't work. I've not seen anyone on UK train sim complaining it doesn't work either, and I'm sure there'd be uh, quite loud comments there. <coughs> yeah, I focus on simulation games, business management games. I've done Project High Rise, City Skylines, but I focus primarily on the simulators, some of the racing games like Project Cars or Wreckfest. Wreckfest is one of my favourites. I love Wreckfest. <laughs> Don't forget AWS. Are your rail drivers working? Oh, don't move. Don't move. It's picked up the stop. Yeah, we're on the front page, Dan. Yes, I saw, I've seen some of the streamers playing House Flipper. So, and it's not out yet, and they haven't offered me a copy, so I'm gonna have to wait till, till, till it launches. But yeah, I must admit, I am quite interested by that one. Gold Rush is quite fun as well. I quite enjoy Gold Rush, although it's, it's a bit too grindy, I think. There's not quite enough variety on that one. Right, so we are going to V9B Supply. Flick that one. That puts me back there. You signed up for the beta of it. Oh, can you, how would you do that, MCR Rambo? Can you do that on the uh, on their website somewhere? I love the potential of Gold Rush, Deadly Wiki. I just find myself struggling with the tedium of it, the, the, the grindiness of it. Progress is, it's, you know, it's, it, they've aimed for realism, but sometimes realism comes at the expense of fun. But yeah, House Flipper sounds really good. It's basically, um, um Car mechanic simulator for houses, I think is the easiest way of putting it. Be highly entertaining to watch Matt Kerbal. Uh, it depends, either highly entertaining or ridiculously frustrating, depending on how you, your view on those things. It's one of those things that will probably be funny for a bit, and then you'll just be like, seriously, are you going to get it right now? It, it's been three hours, can you just get something off the launch pad? House mechanic simulator, there you go.
DIY sim. Kind of. The idea is that, as well as doing jobs for people in terms of um, putting, you know, fitting radiators and things, I saw Steve doing, um, you can also buy a, a house that needs doing up and then invest in doing it up and then sell it. Hence, house flipping. I need to get a bit more practice with Kerbal, because I must admit, it is, it is good fun. I've, I've, I've had it since, I don't know, a long time now, before long before it released. What scenario is this? It's called BR361 Shunting Villingen by Matt. BR361 on the uh, um, Kobe route. You don't need a DIY sim, the missus just makes you do it. Yeah. Going to composition, which is there. So that puts us over there. The dispatcher pulls us across. And we go to the right place. Right. Wifey well, got to orbit first session. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I've got to. I actually made it to Moon at one point when I was playing it quite a bit. I got to the moon and landed, and that was it. And then really didn't play it much more after that because other things kept happening. DB doing better. Yeah. Folks, don't forget we're here for charity. We're trying to raise money for building BBC children in need. We're currently up to an amazing £943, but we need to do better than that. And I know we can. So keep reaching. It's all appreciated. Thank you very, very much. Fails equal huge explosions. Oh, they are pretty amazing, actually. They are pretty awesome. When they when things go wrong, they go wrong in great epic style. And sometimes it's really funny when they sort of start springing and and then they explode everywhere. That's it is good fun playing Kerbal. All right, Villingen Seven composition. Oh, there's a page on RailDriver.com that tells you what to do if you're having trouble with the TS18 update. Ah, what is the general gist of it? What are they suggesting? White mead, that's why you like Wreckfest. Fails on Wreckfest equal burst of laughter. Did anyone clip Ayrton going helicopter last night? That was hilarious. Oh, it's a Macroworks 3.1 issue. Oh, right. Okay, but they've got instructions on their website. There you go. So if anyone's having trouble um, getting their rail driver working... Go to uh, raildriver.com, which is the official site for rail driver, and you'll get some help there. You didn't see Ayrton go helicopter? Oh, it was hilarious. He tried to knock. He, I would. I was trying to overtake him. He tried to stop me from overtaking. I think he clipped me, ran into the side barrier. I then nailed him into the side barrier, and the physics just threw him up into the air, and he just went flying off. What's happening around dinner time? I just turn the camera off and get on with it. I'm not. We've not got a, a dinner break or any kind of break actually, other than when I have uh, natural comfort breaks, which I shall do after this scenario. Actually, don't forget that we get up and walk. Yep, that's what I'm going to do in a minute. Right now, we need to go to 
there and get one, two, three, four cars. Oh, I see, we've gone all the way up here. Actually, we want to come back. I thought we were dropping this wagon here and go and get more, but we're not. We've got to push it all back. It comes up there. And gets me to there. Oh, the TPTS is a good show, actually. Got a light, good. Uh, no, we won't be playing Train Fever or um, Transport, um, the follow-up to it, whatever it was called, I can't remember. If we reach a thousand by one, then you're going to have ketchup on your bacon, Dan. Well, there we go, folks. Can we get another 56 quid, 57 quid? How, how fast can we do that? You need more coffee, Anna. I need more tea. Speaking of... Tea! Transport fever, that, that's it. No, it doesn't include gift aid bonuses. It also doesn't include the um, the stuff coming in through bits as well. I mean, Jeff put in over a hundred dollars in bits because Jeff is awesome. That's all right. We passed it. It's fine. Is there a chip shop near you? Yeah, there's one down the bottom of the road. Oh, I've got stuff in the fridge. I'm, I am going to eat, but I'll just turn off the camera. Google Maps wants an API key. There is a tutorial somewhere. Can someone find it on how you get the Google Maps working? I don't know. Did I cover that side of it when I did the video? Because I did do a video on getting Google Maps working. Maybe someone post a link to it. Carrots Gaming, thank you for the uh, bits. Much appreciated. Going to eight composition. <coughs> I think Dovetail did an article on how to do it as well on trainsim.com. Trainsimulator.com. Oh, in that case, if someone can just flag up my video for uh, for the uh, viewer, then. Uh, 
Don't forget the AWS. Okay, Steve. Thank you very much, um, Steve. Much appreciated. Are there any routes that contain waterfalls? Uh, I would have a look at um, West Highland Line extension. I think you'll find some, some assets that will help you there. It worked for you, did it, Glenn? Excellent. <clears throat> Story of Forest Rail. I don't think so, P. Bask. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think so. Although there might be some interesting sort of um, floral assets that will be useful. in pass the signal and stop what's next going back to here it's already set the junction up for me <coughs> and then we stop somewhere we're nearly finished This is just the best German routes available on Steam. It is, Rob. Yeah, totally agree. It's very, very good. Chippy, enjoy your kicks up. I'm crazy, Dan. Hey, <laughs> we made it to the thousand. Chippy, you star. So what are we in? Three and a half hours. We're up to the first thousand. Nicely done. Brilliant work, everybody. Ed, are you still about? With the 3B, is it possible in the script to change how much battery there is? So you could create a script that has a much reduced amount of battery to add extra challenge. I mean on the 3B, in case I didn't say that. Right, go to storage supply, which is all the way up there. Looks like we're good to go. Type 3B, one of the loco digits, a dusty is initial charge. See, Ed thinks about these things. He thinks, how can I make it swim? Somebody can make Matt's life hard. Now for the next thousand. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very much, Chris. Just having a look at this. Oh, another one coming along here. So according to Streamlabs, we're at about $154 in bits at the moment. Hectic T! Great work, Matt. Carry on what you're doing. Appreciate that, Hectic T. Thank you very much for the donation. Just finishing this one, Transport Guide. Neil Wooden, locomotive breath. Thank you very much for the uh, the the donation there, Neil. <coughs> What's up next? Gospel Oak Stopper, a white meat scenario, and then an Ed scenario. <laughs> Who set this schedule up? <laughs> Uh, BR Western, you don't get the TS18 content without buying TS18. You just get the core game updates as the code. Hence the game will now declare, declare itself as TS18 and you'll get the Dovetail Live login. But the routes and so forth, you don't get it without buying it. That's the same as it is every year. Sandbox initial levels, that could be evil. Yay, we finished something without failing it! Hype! Almost exactly on time as well. On that note, I think I'm going to go and have a quick leg stretch and uh, go to the toilet and uh, we'll get on and do Gospel Oak Stopper in just a moment. Meanwhile, uh, what I'll do, I think, is I'll put the prize list up. Uh, I'll put another giveaway going. 